Welcome to the bonus we experienced while on a cultural safari in Namibia with David of Road Trip Namibia. Yes, the sometimes striking or camouflaged or cute, but never sitting still, birds. We didn't go birding, but we couldn't other but noticed. They crossed our paths unexpectedly and always spread excitement. They are there one moment and gone the next. The most amazing for me are these mostly tiny and fragile creatures in the dry, arid country. From what do they live? In the watery and bushy north, the birds are bountiful and always a delight. And the variety always fascinates. Maybe we did not see animals around every nook or corner, but we definitely saw birds and birds and more birds. Granted, if one were not looking, one would not have noticed. It was frustrating not to be able to identify each bird, and it was sad that my camera and photographic ability were sometimes lacking to try capturing the creature delighting, or was it teasing, our day. From memory of what we saw, I could add plenty more, but unfortunately, I have no photos. Some of the photos are not good, but they are included because they do add to the possibility of identifying some birds. All in all, birding with Road Trip Namibia was most enjoyable and informative. Just to the east of the Skeleton Coast, on the west side of Namibia, we came over a little hill and on the other side were these ostriches. But do notice the young ones. They must have been a day old. Is this a parrot or a grey lurry? The rosy-faced lovebirds are pulling the Makalani palms apart. What is on the menu for brunch? Quilias. The curry bustard, heaviest flying bird. <coughs> Plovers are doing a great job. Shrikes, but none alike. There were plenty small LBJs and there were even more large birds not identified. At the waters were shell ducks, Egyptian geese, dab cheeks, you name it. I don't have photos. There was a large variety of birds of prey of all shapes and sizes. Uh, we definitely had a chance to, to study a, a, on them. Look at this one, I even caught the water drop. The secretary bird is always so stately, mostly single. This one is throwing lunch down his throat. Both, both my camera batteries packed up three quarters through the safari. I was devastated. Others provided backup photos of the cultural safari, but none could assist with amazing zoom qualities for the birds. I, however, still enjoyed watching the birds. In the 7,000 kilometer trip we did, the Forte Drongo was the most common bird. Thanks for watching. Contact David.